What's up guys, good morning, welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about a couple things this morning. Um, main thing I really want to talk about is trans temps in the 10R80. If you guys don't know, 24. if you guys don't know, I have a uh, 2018 Mustang GT with a 10R80 in it, um, twin turbo Helion kit, 6266. And I'm not comfortable with my trans temps lately. Um, you know, I really didn't start monitoring these trans temps until after the car was built. Um, I started to do a little bit of research on it. I actually had one of my subscribers hit me up on Instagram, who's a tech, and uh, said it's pretty normal for these cars to run anywhere from 200 to 230, which I thought was insane for a transmission. So I started looking into it. There's some information on there. All right, bud, put it in your thing. Put your horn. There's some information on the internet. Um, not too much. Uh, I haven't really found much yet. I'm gonna dig deeper, but I want to talk to you guys about it because you know, you guys are out there driving these 10 R80s, um, and there's one guy that was on uh, uh, on the Mustang form. And uh, he said he takes his car to the track with the 10R80 in it, and he was seeing temps anywhere from 230 to 240, which is absolutely crazy. It's, it, my opinion. Now, supposedly be this new trans fluid and all this other stuff is, you know, the trans fluid's supposed to be really good. Me personally, I listen. I'm putting down some serious horsepower. I haven't had the car on dyno yet, but if I want to guess, I mean, you know. I'm around nine, 900 wheel horsepower with this car and I'm just totally uncomfortable putting 900 wheel horsepower through a trans that's over 200 degrees. Like, I just don't feel comfortable with that. Um, back in the day, I would never run my car with that type of trans uh, temps and, uh, you know, put some power into it that the trans wouldn't hold. So, what I'm saying is to you guys is, you know, drop some comments below. Um, if you guys have any information, share some links. I really like to look into this. Um, another thing that I want to talk about is this trans temp, um, the thermostat that's in these 10R80s. I really wish that I had an extra 10R80 laying around because I would dissect it and see if I can remove this thermostat. <coughs> if any of you guys know about this thermostat, if there's any modifications we can do to it, I did reach out to Lund. It's not a, it's a mechanical thermostat. It's not something that can be tuned, which blows, in my opinion. It'd be really cool if you can tune it. So, before we get it together, you're gonna put a thermostat in there, allow us to control it. But like I said, guys, um, if you guys can do me a favor personally, and if you have an N-Gage, or I know some of the base model cars, you can actually, like, you know, the, the 401A package car, I can't pull up my actual temp. Now, my buddy has a base model. Um, he doesn't have the 401A. He has the you know base model cluster in a car, and he can actually go into his um, track apps and check his train temp and get an actual number, where I can't do that with the 10R80. What, well, Bobby? What's on your face? Do you want your food? Okay. So, if you guys can just do that for me and monitor your trans temps when you're into the gas and you're out there beating the hell out of your car, just take a look at your trans temps after you do a couple pulls and see what they look like. Because um, like I said, the information on the internet is very vague and I'm going to continue to look into this. And also, if you have any information about the thermostat, uh, if there's any modifications we can do to it, or if anybody has a 10R80 that is, you know, laying around and it ain't no good and, you know, they want to get rid of it. I would love to dissect one. So, you know, a little fruit for thought. Um, let me know. Drop a comment below. Um, if you guys haven't already, like and subscribe. Uh, you know, we're talking about all Mustang things here. I'm an enthusiast. I'm not just a Mustang guy. I do all cars. Anything that gets it's loud and fast and, you know, uh, gets my adrenaline going. I love it. It has, doesn't have to be a, a, you know, a Mustang. So, just a little FYI, guys. And uh, like I said... Stay tuned. I'll catch you in the next one.